Good morning. So, today is dark. It's about 5 a.m. I'm taking Abby out for the first time today. And we have a new toy that we are learning how to use today. And it is, can you guess it? The bell. Okay, so here are the bells I just got. She's, uh, I have also little treats in my hand. And what's gonna happen is she's really uninterested with the bells. It's like not even a thing for her. So what I'm gonna do is just kinda, oh, she touched the bell, I give her a treat. Oh, she touched the bell on the steak, I give her the treat. So basically what I'm trying to do is, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I'm just trying to, Make sure she's not afraid of the bells. And she doesn't seem to be. Yeah. So I'm basically just treating her whenever she mistakenly touches the bell. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. So I put these little doorbells on the door so I can try to train her to uh, ring the doorbell to let her out. So it's first thing in the morning. I know she has to go out. Um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'll show you guys what you Good morning. Hello. So I heard the bells. Let's see if she opens it up. Oh, yes. Good girl. Oh, wow. Sorry about the camera ship. <laughs> but she did it. That was our uh, first time. Um, so now, but it's not done yet. Now I'm going to wait till she uses the restroom. Make sure she doesn't, you know, play around or anything. And we'll just go straight to it. Go pee. Use her word. Go pee. Go pee. Go pee. Go pee. Good girl. I don't think y'all can see that. But there she's at. Good girl. And that's basically the demonstration of how that's supposed to work. <laughs> So we're still in the training phase. Um, this was the first time she like immediately touched the bell. Um, the last couple days I kind of had to like point to the bell and then she went and touched it out of curiosity and opened the door. But I think that she is learning that, hey, touching this bell lets me go out to use the restroom, so. Yeah, progress. So some tips for using the bell. Um, as you can see, I put her on leash immediately for the bell. And I did that because I don't want her ringing the bell to give her the idea that she'll go outside and be able to have free, free time and run around. I expect when she rings the bell, she goes out, gets her business done, and then we move on with the day. So, you know, I took her out on leash immediately gave her her um, potty cue and then as soon as she went we went back inside so what would have happened if we took her took her out and she started to play around and hang out what i would have done was took her out give her a few minutes at like at most one minute because she rung the bell at most one minute to pee to potty um and if she was not pottying immediately then i would take her back inside and put her right in her crate and wait a few minutes and repeat the whole process. Take her out on leash, by the door, let her stand by it, see if she rings the bell. If she doesn't ring the bell, kind of point to it and like make her look like it's curious, get her looking at it to touch it. And then take her out and repeat. Wait one minute, see if she uses the restroom. If she does, excellent. We go play, we take it, come back inside if she wants, we hang out. Or we, um, she doesn't, I take her back inside, put her in the crate. So the key is, it's whatever your dog finds reinforcing. If your dog wants to be outside, when the dog finishes using the restroom, don't just immediately bring the dog inside if she likes or he likes to be outside. But if the dog doesn't mind being inside, we have a lot of fun inside, then you can bring him inside and have a few minutes to play. So it is exact, It is very much what the dog feels reinforcing. So what ends up happening is, if you don't take that into consideration, the dog's gonna realize, man, every time I use the restroom, I come right back inside and I don't get the opportunity to play. So I'm gonna postpone this opportunity as long as possible. 
I'm gonna wait before I use the restroom so I can go outside and sniff around before she makes me come right back inside. So that's something you have to keep in consideration when you're doing potty training and you're trying to get them to potty almost immediately as you go outside. Um, the second tip that I have for you if you're you know, doing this training and it's not going well, at this point, I assume that you have your puppy on a puppy training schedule, basically like a potty schedule. So I've had Abby for about a month now and I know first thing in the morning, she has to go number one and number two. Then a couple hours later, same thing, number one and number two. Then at noon, so let's see, it's zero five, um, 7.30 a.m. She goes out again to pee. Right before I go to work, 8.30 a.m. She goes out again to pee. Noon, she goes out for both. Number one and number two. At around four, she needs to go out again for at least for number one. If she didn't go number two at noon, she's gonna go then. And then again, right before bed, 8 p.m. We go out, uh, that's the sixth time I think that is. <laughs> um, for number one and number two so as you can see she goes out a lot and but we pretty much have it down to a schedule so what i'm not going to do is when i'm going to go take her out to go walk around just sniff around i'm going to take her out and have her ring the bell no i'm going to wait till i know pretty much she needs to go to the restroom and then i'm going to take her to the bell and then i'm going to point to it or put a little peanut butter on it if your dog is resistant from the bell um and then yeah have her ring it and then take her outside immediately. So um, my dog was very, very curious. She did not hesitate to touch the bell. She immediately sniffed it and touched it with her nose and I just rewarded her that. Um, your dog might be a little bit more shy. So if your bell makes noises and your um, dog is afraid of, just be cognizant of that. They're not gonna touch the bell if it's they're afraid of it. Good morning. It is day three of the bell exercise. So, let me go see if it works. She's been locked up for probably like, I don't know, locked up in my bedroom for time, two hours. So, it's about time for her to maybe have to go to the restroom again. Oh, sorry about that. And so, I'll show you how that goes. Okay, let's go. Oh, yes, good girl. So now the key is to not let her play, just kind of keep her a little quiet, but I'm gonna give her her um, potty command. Come on, go pee, go pee. She's sniffing, so she sounds like, seems like she's gonna go ahead and pee. Looks like she's gotten distracted with the sniff, so I don't sm smell, so I'm gonna pull her away from that, good. Go pee, go pee. Good girl, yeah, good girl. All right. And that's how it works, huge success. So it really helps to know when your pup is gonna go to use the restroom. So by you know, knowing their schedule, you can basically encourage them to ring the bell. I just pointed at it and she was like, what's this, smur? Um, and yeah, and then anytime they go out and go pee after they ring the bell, you praise them and Eventually, it'll become a habit. So I'm pretty sure she needs to use the number two. So I'm going to say, go poop poop. Oh, good girl. I'm going to cut out now because this is kind of... So not only did she pee, but she pooped. So that was a very, very successful um, bell using. And now, instead of just bringing her back inside, sit. Good girl. Okay, go play. Yeah. Hi. I'm just gonna give her her cue to have some fun now that she did the right thing. <laughs> yeah, so now we went outside, we used the restroom, now it's time to play. And that's the, the routine that I've set up so that this behavior becomes automatic. Um, I don't want her to start ringing the bell to go out and play. She knows that when she rings the bell, she's expected to use the restroom, one, two, both, maybe, and then we can have some fun. So. Just make sure you don't make that mistake of making it too fun before she uses the restroom or your pup. Or then they might get in the habit of saying, oh, ringing the bell means go outside and have fun. Nope, ringing the bell means go outside, use the restroom, and then we can have some fun. So enjoy the video, just throwing in some obedience cues in here and there. And yeah, this is it for this morning.
I hope you enjoy the video.